Wow, this place changes at night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately. Look out! Yep, still very, very eager. Liking it less now. one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast. But not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuriar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. So, we report back to Hildas Fini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father.
Do all the plants you want to kill her? No, no. Only the collapsed ones. Ah, that wrinkly mud belongs to Helka. She's a blossinder. Hound's prize for her pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. I can stoke the fires of those chain blades for you. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. We've seen a lot of weird things. But a moon in a box was on the Oh, hi! Hey, your little one. Well, he's a cute pie. Should have seen him a couple of winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. Oh, you hush. Ain't nothing wrong with a growing boy. Y'all change the ding dang time of day? Okay, well, that's impressive. Bruh. The new Faye. The she. Let me stop you right there, killer. Brock ain't one to go breaking no confidences. Not even when it comes to the dearly departed. You don't hear me spreading your business all over town, do you? Smiths don't blab. Just how it's gotta be. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. The Alpha! The Alpha! <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
Oh, brother. You're covered in bifrost. <laughs> Incoming! Above you! rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Hmm. Our disadvantages are many. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times.
factions in this realm followed the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. <laughs> The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall. But you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? God, Samir. What? The most annoying man alive. Your mark. Careful, that's the Alpha. Tough fight. <laughs> Fuck. 
I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neithog protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly saved her. Classic Odin. <laughs> noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs> Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. <clears throat> We're coming for you, Ingvi. position <laughs> what idiots <laughs> oh if it isn't queen mistletoe herself hilarious by the way been a while i'm dull <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father lucky day <laughs> You have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Mm. <laughs> well, the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. Very good.